Hey, how's it going everybody? In today's episode, we are hooping beanies three different ways. We are using our Gen 2, our Mighty Hoop 5.5 by 5.5 square, and our 8-in-1, which is similar size as our Mighty Hoop. Our materials that we're using, we have just basic beanies, and we have our cutaway black, so it could blend in with the beanie. We have our water soluble and the water soluble helps our thread from sinking in into our beanie, especially with thin details, text. You really wanna use the water soluble just so it can hold the thread together. All right. We also have some of our sticky back and that we will use with our eight in one and this will be an applique design. So some of the fabric we are using, we have this nice little fabric that we cut in uh, Joann's and we have this silky, silky th uh, fabric that we're gonna try out for our heart. Since it's Valentine's coming, we have kind of like a Valentine's theme, so. All right, and also for our fabric, we have our heat and bond. And that's pretty much just to give our fabric an adhesive. And after we stitch it down, we'll hit it with the heat press. We could iron it just so it could add extra, extra stickiness. We'll get into our hooping. Our first one we'll do, and this is in no particular order. Uh, the first hoop we're going to start is with the Gen 2. We'll move to the Mighty Hoop and then the 8 in 1. Okay. Let's start with the artwork. I'm going with a Valentine's theme, drawing it out and digitizing. Once ready, we'll start with the Gen 2 cat frame from Hoop Tech. We always use cutaway on beanies to prevent our designs from stretching. Now on station, we'll trace the beanie and we'll make sure we're centered with our center line and within our hoop boundaries. This is an applique design, so we always start with the placement stitch, then the cut line, tack down stitch and finally the sand stitch. We made a decision to change the fabric and we are now using tackle twill for our heart. It's way better than the silky stuff we were about to use. Here we're using the topping for our tacks and stitches that are off the applique fabric. Next on deck, we have our Mighty Hoops from Hoop Master. These hoops are locked in with the use of magnets. Our backing is the same as before. We are also using the letter F as a reference so we won't accidentally confuse ourselves and stitch the design upside down. All stitches follow the same applique formula as before. I'm using my metal 6 inch deluxe bent tweezers from All Stitch to keep my fabric in check during the sew out. And last but definitely not least is our 8 in 1 hoop from Recoma. Here I've added the details to our fabric to bring this cool looking elephant to life. Next I'm cutting our heart with my favorite long curved scissors, carefully cutting along the cut that I set up during digitizing. I removed the hoop off the machine to give me space for cutting and now we put the hoop back and it's time for the last sand stitch and to see our final product. This is a 3 inch height 
and a four inch wide design. So it's sure to stand out nice and clean. And there you have it, Mr. Elephant happily blowing kisses. And there you have it, YouTube. We have completed our three ways to embroider a beanie. We used our Mighty Hoop, our Gen 2, and our 8-in-1 Hoop. And our beanies are looking extra fresh. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, ask us any questions, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.